Welcome to Start Here, the interview series where we talk to customers who have had firsthand experience using Wavelink's products as a starting point when tasked with resolving some of the most common issues faced by access control systems today. My guest is Russ Schmidt from Beacon Wi-Fi, and he'll be telling us about how our mobile credentials created a great solution for his world-class marina organization customer. Welcome. Thank you so much for being my guest on Start Here, the interviews. I finally, Thank you for having me. finally got you nailed down to come and talk to me because you've been so busy on all your boats. <laughs> on my boats. Yeah, the spring is a very busy time for, for Beacon. Everybody wants their boats in the water and and they want the first thing they want is Wi-Fi. Uh, it's li- slightly before restrooms. So tell us a little bit about your company, Russ. How did how did you get started? Where did Beacon Wi-Fi, you know, get its name, get started, and and what sort of um, niche have you found yourself in 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 our physical security industry? Well, the company was started by a few friends, including me, in two thousand and two, and. I was on my boat and somebody threw a flyer on my boat that basically said Wi-Fi available here. I thought it was a great idea because I could work for my boat on a, on a Friday. Yeah. And fortunately, technically it did not work. So I, a couple of buddies of mine uh, and I bought the company and it took off from there. So we, we started with just a couple of marinas and now we are, we have been nationwide throughout the Caribbean for, for over 10 years. Incredible. So you found, you had a need yourself as a user, and then you obviously had some sort of skill set that enabled you to figure out the problem and resolve it. Um, so you've been in business since 2002, and the marina industry is your is your niche. So um, I know that we've become partners in the recent future, but let's back up a little bit. What what you saw Wi-Fi as the first need. What else did your marina customers need? What were you trying to solve for them? And how did you get into the physical security part of things? And maybe- Well, I mean, to back up um, away from Wi-Fi, the, the real need became being able to connect in, whether it's the office or um, personally when you're on your boat, because when you're at a marina, it's, it's, it's wonderful for the people who really love boating, but there are family members, kids, that need to stay connected when they're when they're on a boat. So that's really how we got involved. Uh, in a previous life, I was an executive at a wireless company, where we had you know the training and the understanding uh, on the network background and specifically on the wireless background. And knowing knowing the wireless, knowing wireless like we did, we had a good feeling that the marinas were going to be very difficult to to install Wi-Fi networks. Uh, because of the, the the noise that's available that's that's around boats, the size of the boats, the fiberglass, and, and it's be, it became a specialty of ours for you know over the years. How we evolved from strictly Wi-Fi about ten years ago into networking and security cameras and gate access control was once we had our relationship with the customer, with the, the marinas were our customers. They had a good feeling for our ability to solve technical problems you know, multifaceted technical problems. So we started to understand that there, the other complexities with, with security cameras, that the biggest issue at a marina is delivering the signal to, to remote points throughout a marina. And it's very similar to what we do for the internet. And as we started to get through that, access control became a similar issue where having gates and doors that were in remote locations, some of our marinas are, Some of the marinas that we service are 800,000 slips and they have remote bathrooms and laundry rooms and back entrances and parking gates where there is no network structure. So in in order to effectively communicate with those gates, you have to truly understand uh, wireless networking. So that's kind of how we evolved into access control. Awesome. Who are you? Can you tell us a little bit about the products you're using for video and for access? So I'm guessing that you're Mm -hmm probably attracted to a cloud-based solution? Would that be a good guess? Yeah, it's a great guess. Because everything we do, whether it's Wi-Fi, networking, cameras, or access control, is all cloud-based. It's all centrally managed because some of our largest customers are multi, they own, they own many marinas and they have to be able to access all their equipment from central points, whether it's in the, in the, in the, center, of the center of the United States or if one Caribbean outfit will have several island properties 
So everything we do uh, gives the customer the ability from either their phone, tablet, desktop to access every piece of their equipment. So can you tell us a little bit about the products you use? I know a lot of um, integrators that I speak with are a little trepidatious moving into a cloud-based platform and it's, a, it's an education process. And once they kind of understand the value proposition and just how flexible it can be and, and it, it does have to work for a certain environment. So obviously you've found a great space for, for a cloud-based solution to work. Who are you working with? Are you talking about the back-end suppliers for, yeah, to offer the what, cloud-based? So for, for access control, we use Phoenix. Right, okay. Um, and then Phoenix, we were attracted to Phoenix um, primarily because of their cloud-based offering, but also they're, they are completely hardware agnostic. And that allowed us to be able to go into a marine setting and pick and choose the very best products for our customers, whether it's biometrics, whether it's, whether it's using a fob or whether it's using an app, we could allow the customer to get best of breed. And at the same time, um, focusing on the, what we figure is the best cloud-based access control solution out there in Phoenix. Awesome. Yeah, well, we're really happy to hear that Phoenix is a partner of ours and I believe that's how we probably got introduced. So um, tell us a little bit about how Wavelinks came into the picture. So we're the reader manufacturer, but I think more importantly, we're the mobile credential provider. So tell us how you've um, implemented the Wavelinks solution at your marinas. Um, so yeah, so it, it goes along the same uh, value proposition as Wi-Fi cameras, access control for us. We're trying to provide a solution, a value-based solution to our customers at the marinas. And you can imagine some of these very large marinas will have say five to 10 access points, whether it's a restroom or front gate, but they'll have say a thousand customers. And sometimes there are pools or different access, uh, access uh, relationships for pools for families. And the number of fobs or cards that they go through is, is it's sizable. It's a, it's a large chunk of a budget. So we have been looking for a couple of years for a very reliable mobile credential that would work on the, you know, the, the two types of phones that family members, instead of, so if you have a family member, a family of, of five on a, on a boat and the, ki the kids wanna come and go, buying a fob for each kid times hundreds of, of slip renters becomes difficult for the marina. Yeah. So it just, it, it makes it very easy for a marina to come in and be very family friendly, family friendly, and offer pool and restroom and laundry and gate access through a mobile credential, which is uh, the way Phoenix operates makes it um, almost a nominal cost on a, on a per family basis. That's awesome. Yeah, and of course they want to use their phones. Everybody wants to use their phones. Today, yeah. Right? So um, that's great. That's just a simple solution, and it sounds like it's working really well. Um, and we're excited to be a part of this application because it's a perfect, it's a perfect niche to just, you know, show off uh, these partnerships, really. Are there any other um, applications that, that the marinas use that might be different from a typical, like, are, do you have your own application? Do they have their own application that they've well, developed? We have an application okay. uh, for, for a variety of service points for the marina managers because uh, our marina, whether it's a marina manager, an owner, um, or a regional vice president, they want to have access to cameras at multiple facilities. And they want to have access to access control at multiple facilities. So we're, we're going to be implementing something very soon that's going to allow this to happen right from the, from the Beacon app, which is free to our customers. That's awesome. Now, another thing about Wavelengths where, it, where the offerings help us is depending on where the marina is, what region of the country it is, what sort of amenities they provide. Uh, Wavelinks offers three products that we use if you, uh, on the reader side, mm -hmm. which is the, um, the Mullion, the single reader, and then the combo keypad, mm -hmm. which is very important to a lot of my customers, especially for car entry gates, where they also have restaurants on the facility. So members can have a, a mobile credential, but visitors can quickly put in a code to get access to the gate. And that, that's a, it's, a, it's a big feature for, for my customers. Okay, that's great. Um, is there any other, so 
you've, it sounds like you've solved most of the, the problems that you're faced in, in that community. Is there anything outstanding that you're looking to solve in the future? I don't know that Wavelings can do it, but is there something, some uh -huh. magic that you're waiting for in the future? I would say, no, there's no magic <laughs> right now. <laughs> <laughs> and if there was, I probably couldn't tell you, but there's, we always are digging vertically within the marine industry to see how else we can help uh, marinas. And as the cost, of, the general cost of access control comes down, mm -hmm. uh, that's going to be a, be a direct correlation with, with, I, with I think how many uh, uh, different uses access control can, can be utilized on a property. Some of these properties are very large. It just becomes cost prohibitive depending on the location. And I think that line is going to help um, the marine industry a lot. Sure. Um, well, that's great. Thank you so much for sharing that with us. It's a really nice um, sort of case study that you've shared to, to show where our products can um, really meet a new demand for doing more and touching less and being able to access things freely at an affordable, at an affordable cost. Um, where can people find you if they want more information? Maybe they have a marina or they know someone who does. If you're, it sounds like you find business finds you, but where can we find you if, if people want to? Uh, well, other than on the docks, you can find us uh, just online. You search Beacon Wi-Fi, Beacon, or we're at beaconwifi.com. Excellent. And everything gets right to us. Perfect. Well, we'll make sure to post your, your website on this on this podcast link. And thanks again for your time, Russ. It's always awesome Thank you. to talk to you. I want to live vicariously through you because you get to visit <laughs> so many awesome sites every day. Uh, but thanks. We appreciate your time, and I look forward to talking to you soon. Thank you very much. Nice to meet you.